Hey there, what's up everybody? This is your nutritionist on the go, Kamal Deep Singh Ojla from Eru Diet Nutrition. And now continuing with our topic of COVID-19 and the diet of a COVID patient. Again, let me clarify, diet of a COVID patient, not a diet that will boost your immunity that you won't come in contact with the virus. Nobody can guarantee that. This is a diet protocol for people who have contracted the virus, who are suffering from the symptoms. Either they are in mild, moderate or in severe cases. They could be in their hospital arrangement. They could be in their house isolations. Follow these plain instructions and get yourself on the path of recovery. Let's start the video. Stay tuned. Welcome back to the channel. I hope you have seen the previous video in this playlist in which I have described how the COVID-19 virus, the SARS-CoV-2 coronavirus actually interacts with the human body and causes different sorts of problems leading up to respiratory and cardiac failure. So I hope you have watched that video. If you haven't, go back to the channel, watch that video. It is going to help you in a lot of ways. So now coming back to my topic of expertise. So before starting the video, I have seen so many diet advices online from people from different uh, backgrounds. Uh, some are doctors, some are engineers and so and so. My request to all is let the work of a dietitian stay in the hands of a dietitian. If tomorrow I make a video prescribing you medicines, I just say simply block me and unsubscribe me or unfollow me if I do such kind of a bizarre thing. That is not my area of expertise. I know how to live in my lane. I know how to walk in my own lane. So leave the diet advice to dietitians. This is my humble request. I have seen so many people, people who are good in their own trades, making a fool out of themselves, talking all gibberish and nonsense. So let's continue that. What are the diet protocols? One thing I want to tell you guys is I have been working in close contact with COVID patients ever since July. 2020 and there are no such at that time there were no such guidelines so i had to start from scratch i have to talk with the patients give them a couple of things try something new try to avoid all the things that could have caused a one percent potential harm also finally after months and months of study hours and hours of sleepless nights that i have put recollecting data from all around the world listening to hundreds and thousands of lectures on specialists who are talking about coronavirus and COVID-19 I have finally summarized this diet protocol this diet protocol that I'm sharing with you is something that I have devised I have made on my own because uh, there were no any particular guidelines so keeping everything at a safe end thinking about not worsening the condition of the patient not even giving you one slightest thing that can uh, if it can harm you about uh, even a one single percent i avoid that from my protocol so this protocol that i have devised it is all created by my own self been working with covid patients from the past nine to ten months and it has shown great results great results in my patients finally then i decided to share it with the masses so let's start over here these are the symptoms that a covid 19 patient suffers the patient can be in his home the patient can be hospitalized anywhere so leading on let's start from number one the first symptom that a covid 19 patient uh, sees is body aches and fever so when body aches and fever uh, is happening due to due to inflammation in your body what type of things do we have to take in notice we have to avoid all type of refined foods let it be refined sugars refined flours, refined oils, all the refined foods that are processed foods should be definitely avoided. And we have to switch to a high protein, high calorie diet. Okay, these high calories can come from healthy fats can come from desi ghee, olive oil, flaxseed oil, coconut oil, any healthy fat or good complex carbohydrates you can uh, eat a multi-grain chapati you can eat some multi-grain bread if it is not processed obviously the market brought bread will be processed so you can make it at your home if you're comfortable enough during the covid pandemic or you can increase the amount of uh, pulses that you eat because pulses are a very good form of fiber 
vitamins, minerals, some amount of protein and good amount of complex carbs. So I don't suggest a low carb or a high fat or a low fat or high carb protocol. I am just saying you need to increase your protein that's for sure and you need to increase your calories from healthy sources. So number two. Number two is people are suffering from sore throat, redness. So what do we have to do? Why, is, uh, why are people suffering from that? The same reason due to inflammatory response of our body. So how are we going to tackle it? So this is going to be the biggest controversy of this video. I know for sure because people are not going to see the whole picture. They are going to think with their narrow minds and start, you know, uh, criticizing me. But listen to me, citrus and in fact, all types of fruits, cold temperature, refrigerated water, ice creams or anything that is cold and juices, you have to avoid all these things. Now, what is the controversy with that? Every time I am going to, every time I go and tell a COVID patient that he has to avoid citrus, the question comes up, what about our vitamin C? Vitamin C is one of the most essential vitamin in this COVID-19 problem but there are so many other vitamin C sources which are not going to harm your throat. Always remember when a therapeutic dietitian, when a clinical dietitian is going to suggest you something, we are going to go through all the set of problems that a patient is going to have. If something is beneficial to the patient in one aspect but hurting him in another, we are not going to recommend it. Similarly, citrus fruits, lemon, all the so-called vitamin C because whenever vitamin C comes into mind, our brain rushes, rushes towards citrus fruits. They, these are the first things that come into our mind because we are hardwired and programmed and taught in such a way that citrus fruits are the excellent sources of vitamin D. In reality, almost all vegetables and almost all non-citrus fruits are also good source of vitamin c you can get vitamin c from almost all vegetables and fruits citrus fruits are not the only one in which vitamin c exists so but citrus fruits can harm your throat can worsen your sore throat condition so i would suggest avoiding all type of fruit juices do not give fruit juices to your covid patient i have seen patients being served fruit juice in the hospital covid icus that is absolutely wrong i will explain it further in this video avoid all type of citrus moreover avoid majority of the fruits okay and avoid all types of juices as well all cold temperature or refrigerated food products we have to avoid everything instead what we can do is a, a, a warm cup of ginger kava this is the way to go this is the natural way how to relieve your sore throat okay along with the medications i am not opposed to medications i am not suggesting anybody that do not eat, get medications and start the diet diet is not going to heal you you need medication and diet hand in hand okay so the next is cough and phlegm this is one of the another reason why we have to reduce and almost stop all types of citrus fruits cold temperature liquids and refrigerated products and juices because after the sore throat the next major symptom that people are suffering from is phlegm mucus their chest is totally congested with mucus very thick and heavy mucus secretioning that are causing a respiratory hindrance obstruction in the pulmonary cavity so cough and phlegm this is because of the infective lung etiology we have to avoid along with these along with the above written we have to avoid curd rice beans and all other pulses and vegetables which are responsible for the thickening of mucus so rice or buttermilk lassi curd, yogurt, all these things you have to avoid. You have to avoid khichdi. You have to avoid uh, red beans. You have to avoid chickpeas. Okay. So you have to avoid all these mucus thickening foods. You have to avoid plain milk. Never drink plain milk if you are suffering from COVID complications. Instead, what you should do to relieve your sore throat, cough and phlegm is in this hot ginger kava, you can add licorice, you can add green or black or both cardamom and you can add some fennel into it. The combination of fennel, cardamom and licorice acts as a bronchodilator. Okay, Benadryl is a bronchodilator. It is relaxing your lungs. 
it is relaxing the bronchioles it is going to relax your chest cavity widen up the bronchioles making passage for more air to be breathed in and it will help you cough up and cough out all the stuck mucus it will lose your mucus so you can cough and spit it out it is going to clean your chest cavity so this is the way to go